this module, we're going to talk about the File tab, which is up here in the top left corner of your screen. And the File tab has a lot of cool things associated with it. Um, on the File tab, you can do things like save a file, save a file as a different name in a different location, open an existing file, uh, certainly you can close the file, you get some different information here. One of the cool things that I want to show you about the File tab up here, though, is this Recent button. Now this recent button has a list of all the different files that I've been into recently and all my different file locations. Now the cool thing about this recent file list is that if you actually have a file on this list it's much faster to open it up this way uh, than having to go into the open command and actually have to dig through your file structure to find the file. The problem with the recent file list is that other files that you've opened more recently push files that you might want right now off this list. For example, if you used a file like this Excel PowerUp Excel file, let's say we've been into this recently, but a week goes by, I use 25 other files, and that file ends up getting pushed off the bottom of the list here such that it's not even on this list anymore. But I want it now, and it's a file maybe that I use weekly. That's where this happens a lot. Well, one of the things that you can do to make sure a file never gets pushed off your recent file list is you can use these push pins. Now if I push this push pin here to the right of the Excel PowerUp official class file, what it'll do is it'll turn a color and it'll put it on my pin files list, meaning this file will never get pushed off my recent workbooks list or my recent file list. I can do the same thing with recent places. So you see next to this file folder, if I click the push pin, now that Excel training files folder, that will always be on my recent file list if I want to pull different files out of that particular folder. So that's really cool. Use those push pins. Now, if you've got a particular file that you don't want to have on this list anymore, if you just click the push pin again, it will unpin it and take it off that list and it will rotate uh, just like all the other files that you would pulled up more recently. Um, here's another cool thing on the file tab. If you go down to the new button, now, if you're going to open up a new blank workbook, certainly you could use this uh, blank workbook button right now. That, that would just open up a new blank workbook. Uh, blank file, nothing on it. Uh, if you did that from here, it would be kind of a long way to do it. You could go File, New Blank Workbook, or you could just use the keyboard shortcut Control-N. That's Control-N for New Workbook, and that would open up a new blank workbook. So chances are you're not going to go File, new blank workbook to open up a new blank workbook. You're just going to use control plus the letter N uh, keyboard shortcut to do that. But the other cool thing that's over here in the new workbook area is all these different templates. Now, here's what a lot of people don't know about templates. When you installed Excel, you got these different types of templates here that you could use and pull up. You pull up one of these templates, you can make it your own, you can make changes to it. It just kind of gives you a jump start on a new file with formatting and different things like that. But what I want to show you is that you have all these different categories of templates down here that are that are, are free templates that are made available to you at Microsoft.com. You don't have to go out to Microsoft.com to get them. If you want any of these templates, you can just click into this particular area, like the budget area. It will go out to Microsoft.com and give you all sorts of different budget options. You just click on these things, you bring them in, the math is all done, the formatting's all done. It's really, really cool. Um, you click into a particular area, like business templates, it'll open up different types of business templates. And you guys, anything that you can ever imagine doing in Excel, guess what? Someone has already done it. And these templates, they are not only virus free, which is really, really important, but they're also financially free. So go out and examine all these different templates. Just type something in here that you might want to learn about, like, you know, fantasy football. Let's see if there are any fantasy football templates. Well, by golly, there's a fantasy football sports ranking, a weekly fantasy for, uh, sports league tracker, and a fantasy sports weekly scores. Hey, not that a lot of you would be super interested. Some of you are, but a lot of you might not really care about fantasy football uh, uh, sports kind of spreadsheets to evaluate players and things like that. But this is just a way to show you that pretty much anything that you can imagine ever being done 
is already out there for you in the form of a template. Now, when you go out and bring one of these templates in or design one yourself and save it, it ends up going in your My Templates folder. Now, I don't have any that I've built uh, up here, but once they're in there, you can use them in the future, get a quicker start on uh, doing something um, in Excel rather than building it from scratch. So check out templates. And then down here, one other thing I want to show you, uh, we're going to talk about printing in a future module. So certainly one thing you can do is you can click File, Print, and go through the print setup process. But another thing that you can do here is you can go to this area called Save and Send. And I kind of want to explain all the different things that you can do here. What these basically will do is save your file as whatever file type you want to make it. So as a PDF, if you've got Adobe Writer, um, you can put it out on SharePoint if you want it to. If you can create, you want to create uh, your particular spreadsheet as uh, an Excel web page, you can certainly do that. Save it to the web. Most people use this option right here. And what this option does is it actually saves your file and goes over to your email software, opens up a blank email with this file already attached. Now, I think that's a lot faster than saving a file going over to your email software, opening up a blank email, and then going and trying to find uh, this particular file using that little paperclip option. So check that out. If that works for you, it can be a much faster way of sharing your particular file with others. One last thing I want to show you just broadly uh, on the File tab is the Options section. Now the Options section gives you a lot of really cool things that you can do to change the way your Excel works for you. For example, you can create new workbooks. When you start that brand new blank workbook, you can create it to open up with as many new blank worksheets as you want. You don't have to have three. You could set this and make this five or 13 or whatever you want to make it. Um, down here under advanced, if when you're doing data entry, you don't want to do top to bottom data entry, that is put in a number, hit enter, and have the cursor move down. If you'd rather have it go to the right when you press enter, you can just change this option that says, after pressing enter, move selection right. And then when you press enter, your cursor will go right. Try that one. That's a really cool one. And so there are literally thousands of different settings that you can do in here. And in future modules, I will take you in to the options section and show you some really cool things that you can do here. But we're going to call that good. That's your introduction to the file tab and basically how to access the basic functionality of the file tab. I hope you found this module useful. Our next module is going to be the Quick Access Toolbar.